in fractions now we're going to talk about applications of fractions so this example is related to carpentry a board measured 35 and 2 third centimeters and needs to cut into four equal parts find the length of each piece so we want to cut this board to four equal parts like like this and want to find the length of each piece so when you cut to four equal parts each part is going to be one fourth of the the original piece because if you add one fourth four times you get one so now if i want to find the length of one piece or length of each piece in that matter so i need to find one fourth of the the whole the length of the whole piece which is 35 and two third so that means i need to find one fourth of this number 35 and two third the off means multiply so one for off or one th four times this number now i cannot just multiply like this so i need to convert this to a, a fraction now 35 and 2 third means 35 and 2 third means 3 times 35 plus 2 which is 105 plus 2 which is 107 over 3 so what we get is one four times hundred and seven over three so that give me hundred and seven over twelve now we know twelve times eight is ninety six and twelve times nine is hundred and eight so we know twelve times nine is 108 or 12 times 10 is 120 so we know 12 times 9 is 108 so 107 is just one below that that means we have 8 of them 8 of 12 and we get 11 out of 12 now now you may wonder which one we should keep as the answer answer in the fraction or answer in as yes, a mixed number a normal rule is an unwritten rule in math is that she said this information is in a mixed number so it's better to give as a mixed number next application is a problem in distance it says an athlete jogs one and three eight kilometers five and three fourth kilometers and four and five eight kilometers in in all how far does the athlete jogs so in order to find the total what we have to do is we need to add these three fractions so 1 and 3 8 is equal to 8 times 1 plus 3 which is 8 plus 3 which is 11 over 8 plus 5 and 3 fourth is 5 times 4 is 20 plus 3 which is 23 over 4 plus 4 and 5 eight is 8 times 4 is 32 plus 5 which is 37 over 8 now right now we cannot add them because we don't have the same denominator first thing we need to find is the least common denominator so the least common denominator of the 4 and 8 is clearly 8. 8 is the smallest number that can be divided by both 4 and 8. Now we want each term to have a denominator of 8. So we have to multiply this by 2 and divide by 2. So that means now we have 11 over 8 
plus 23 times 2 which is 46 of 8 plus 37 of 8 which is equal to which is equal to 94 of 8 we can we can simplify 94 of 8 because the 2 is a factor so you get 2 times 47 is 94 over 2 times 4 so 2 cancel out we get 47 over 4 so we can keep it as a mixed fraction like the information we get 4 times 11 is 44 and 4 times 12 is 48 so we have 11 and 3 out of 11 3 fourth now our next example is from business. Let's see what it is. Asita owns a uniform piece of land value at rupees 700,000. He wants to give one fifth and two seventh of the land to his son and daughter, respectively. That means he wants to give one fifth to son and two seventh to the daughter. What is the value of remaining portion of the land? So once you give one fifth to the son and two seventh to the daughter, whatever left is his part. So he wants to know the value of that part. Now land as a one, so we think land as a one near it. And out of the one unit, he gives away one fifth to his son and two seventh to his daughter. And this is the piece that is left to him. Now, in order to find the value of the, the remaining land, remaining portion, we need to first find out the portion that remains to him. So that can be found, we need to subtract one fifth and two seventh from one. So one minus one fifth minus two seventh. Or it's same as one minus the sum of the pieces that he gave away. That is one fifth plus two seventh. Now, so first thing we have to do is now to find the LCD because we don't have the same denominator. So LCD is clearly, so LCD of 5 and 7, they're both prime, so therefore 5 times 7, which is 35. So I need to create 35 in the denominator over here. So this one we need to multiply and divide by 35. And this one by 7 and this by 5. So I get here that 1 is same as 35 over 35. 150 is same as 7 over 35. And 2 seventh is equal to 10 over 35. So now we have 35 as a denominator. So once you get 35, I get 35 minus 7 and minus 10. So 7 and 10, 17. So basically the, the pieces that they go away to is actually equal to 17 over 35. So you need to so subtract from 35, 35 minus 17, which is 18 over 35. So this is the piece of land that he owns after he give away this. So now to find out the, the value of the remaining portion, we need to multiply 700,000, 700, which is the, the value of the original land by this number 18 over So 35 and 70 cancel out, there's two of them. 
So 2000 times 18, so 18 times 2 is 36, and four zeros. So the value of the remaining is rupees 360,000. Example number four, the day-to-day -day life problem. In a typical day, Arjuna's journey to his office has three stages. He walks from home to the bus stand, which is one-fifth of the total distance. Take a bus and uses a three-wheeler from the bus stand to his office, which is one-third of the total distance. If the distance he travels by bus is 7 kilometers, find the distance from his home to his office. Now let's sketch this situation. So here is the home and then he walks to the bus station. He walked the first part and then he used a bus for this part and then he used a three-wheeler for the rest of the day to his office. This is the distance from bus stand to the office which is one third of the total and this distance is one fifth of the total and this is, is seven kilometers. Now we need to try find the total distance therefore let's x be the total distance distance from his home to office now now after his walk of one fifth he still has to go one minus one fifth or four fifth to go to his office so that means the four fifth minus one third is going to be equal to seven kilometers therefore we can write this equation four fifth of the total distance minus one third of the total distance is the distance that he traveled by the the bus now we need to find x here so clearly the least common denominator of five and three is 15 so we're going to multiply each term or both sides by 15 or each term by 15 so 15 times and now 5 and 15 cancel out to 3, 3 times 4x which is 12x, 3 and 15 cancel out which is 5, so you get 5x, 7 times 15 which is 105, 12x minus 5x which is 7x is equal to 105 or 7 times 15. Now we divide both sides by 7 so we get 105 over 7 or which is actually 15. So the total distance from his home to the office is 15 kilometers.